Overall, I would say that this bag was definitely worth it. Sarah, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we're going to be doing a winter edition of what's in my bag. And I'm also going to give you guys my review and thoughts on the Coach Soft Tabby shoulder bag. I got this bag for myself on a whim. It was an impromptu Christmas gift from me to me and I've been carrying it around for a few weeks now. And I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on if this bag is worth it and how I like it so far as both an everyday bag and as a bag for nicer occasions. But before we jump into it, I just want to welcome anyone who's new to my channel. My name is Sarah. I create content on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I would love it if you subscribe subscribe and hit that notification bell to join me for my videos in 2024 and of course for everyone watching please don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment down below and let me know what your bag essentials are or what purse you're carrying for 2024 but anyways like I said I purchased this coach soft tabby shoulder bag for myself as a Christmas gift while it was an impromptu purchase to purchase it that day I had been looking at this bag for a little while I just kept seeing ads pop up for it like I said in the vlog when I actually purchased this this bag was literally haunting me for pretty much all of December so when I went to coach to get my husband gift. I also took some time to see this bag in person and decided I wanted to go ahead and treat myself. So like I mentioned, this one is the soft leather coach tabby as opposed to the more structured tabbies. This one is the shoulder bag size, which I do believe is on the bigger side of the spectrum as far as the tabby sizes go. And I did get this for a pretty good deal because this particular colorway was on sale, which I get why it was because this does feel very holiday. So it was nearing the end of the holiday season and then also it's green. It's a color that not everyone feels confident styling, but I don't know. I feel like since this green is such like a deep beautiful green for me it's actually been pretty easy to style and I absolutely love this antique gold hardware against this green color I think it's just such a beautiful sophisticated combination so as the name suggests the leather on this bag is softer than the other tabbies you guys can even see when it opens this leather is completely malleable but it still has enough stiffness that the bag still holds its structure and I feel like the structure of this bag also comes from the design and construction the stitching on this bag is absolute perfection it's constructed so so well and then the hardware on this bag is really really good quality you can feel it and you can feel its weight. So there's two ways to wear this bag. You can definitely do the classic shoulder bag like this. I wear it this way when I'm dressing my outfit up a little bit more, like on Christmas Eve. I did a little bit more of a dressier outfit. So I took off the crossbody strap and I just did the shoulder bag and I thought it complemented the outfit really nicely. And I don't know how well you guys can see this in here, but if you're gonna use this as an everyday bag, I personally like to do the crossbody and this is adjustable and it's very, very easy to adjust because this leather is so soft. It's very easy to move the buckle to a different spot. But I like mine to sit just right at my hip so that it's very easy for me to take things out if I'm using this as a daily bag. But for the straps, if I wanted to just do the crossbody, I can easily remove the shoulder strap or vice versa. Personally, I like to leave both on unless I'm trying to do it as just a shoulder bag. Whenever I have it in the crossbody, I personally like the look of leaving the shoulder strap on and just kind of like hanging out in the front. And then it also has the coach tag on the side. As far as storage goes with this bag, you guys will see once we start digging into what is actually in here, but it actually holds a lot of stuff, which is why this has quickly become my favorite everyday bag. It just looks really put together and really sophisticated, but it holds so, so much stuff. I mean, it actually holds more than this. Usually I actually have this camera in here, but for right now I have the smaller vlogging camera in here. And then on the inside of the flap is this beautiful, super soft suede. And then the closure magnet on this is so powerful. It literally closes so easy. So you don't have to worry about the bag hanging open or accidentally opening. Again, just like the rest of the materials on this bag, the magnet on this is very, very high quality. So it's gonna hold all of your stuff in. And then the inside material on this bag is a really durable, nice canvas so that if anything for any reason spills on the inside of this bag or you have something sharp in here, the canvas is pretty strong and pretty easy to clean. So you're gonna be able to fix any type of mess or accident that might occur with the inside of this bag. But yeah, overall, I would say that this bag was definitely worth it. The quality of it is so, so nice, which is definitely something you would expect from a designer bag company. While Coach is not considered luxury designer, it is still designer, often referred to as more like an entry-level designer brand. But I just feel like since Coach's resurgence with 2000, trends coming back over the last few years they've really stepped up their game and I just feel like everything that I've gotten from coach lately has felt almost and I mean almost as nice as my luxury designer stuff but let's go ahead and get into what's in my bag so I can show you guys exactly how much this bag fits so starting off obviously with my keys that is absolutely essential I need to get into my house and I need to use my car because I live in Southern California and we don't have good public transportation so keys are obviously always a must on my keychain I have one of those like little I think these are called styluses so that I can like 
press things at the ATM without using my finger or grab door handles or you can also use this as a bottle opener. If I'm being honest, I forget half the time that this is on here so I don't really use it as much. I also have another bottle opener on this that I've just had for forever. And then the lanyard that I have on here, the little wristlet, I think that this is new since my last What's in My Bag video. My old one finally broke. I'd had it for years and unfortunately the company that made that one is no longer around so I got this one off of Etsy. I wanted something that was kind of reminiscent of designer but not an actual designer one. So I got this one that kind of is inspired by the Gucci floral collection and I absolutely love it. It's perfect for just like sliding my keys on my wrist. I always have a wristlet on my keys because I'm scared of locking my keys in my car. So I like having the wristlet because I'm more inclined to throw my keys on my wrist as I'm like grabbing things out of my car or moving things around so that I don't accidentally lock these in there. Up next, like I said, I do have one of my vlogging cameras in here. I do want to note that my Canon M200 does fit in my bag. That is the camera that I'm currently filming on. It's a smaller mirrorless camera, which is why I like it for vlogging. It's really great quality, but easy to carry around. But sometimes I want to carry something even smaller. So I also have the new Canon V10. This one just came out last year. As you guys can see, it's a very small, compact camera. I do bulk it up a little bit by adding this mic, but if I need even more space, I can always take the mic off. Just the sound quality I feel like is way better with the mic. But yeah, this camera is so small. I really love it. This has been the easiest camera to vlog with. The quality on this camera is better, which is why I gravitate towards this one a little bit more. But I still do use this one very regularly. Anytime I'm going somewhere where I want to be a little bit more subtle vlogging or just somewhere that's going to be like really, really busy and I don't want to fuss around with a big camera. I love using this camera. I think once you learn it, you can actually get really great quality clips with it. It just takes some research as far as figuring out what settings will work best. And if you guys are interested in that at all, I will link my review video for this camera right here on the screen and also in the description below. But yeah, it's a handy little camera. I personally think it's better than vlogging on my phone. I personally hate vlogging on my phone. So especially whenever I'm using a smaller bag or if I want to load this bag up and make a little extra room, I'll switch to the V10. Up next, I have a little mini clip. I have a bunch of these types of mini little clips, but I always try to have at least one in my bag because there's so many times that I need to like pull my hair out of my face, whether I'm getting hot or I'm like doing something and I just can't stand having hair in my face. I always need something to pull my hair back. And usually my go-to is a hair clip because I don't want to dent my hair. And a lot of the times I like to try to keep the mini ones in my bag. That way I have a choice of doing my hair half up or putting it all the way up. Then next I have my portable charger. I've showed this one so many times. This one is from the brand Vajer. And I like this one because the cap is actually attached to it. So when I take the cap off to charge the devices, I don't end up losing it. And I love this one because it doesn't require a cord. You just plug it straight into your device. And for me, this one can charge both my phone and the Canon V10. But obviously if I'm using this camera, the M200, I'll just throw an extra battery into this bag. Then next, kind of on the camera, slash I also use this for my glasses. I forgot how I got this. Oh, I got this from the brand of Phone Soap. It came with the UV light foam cleaner that I have, but this is actually pretty cool and very convenient if you're a vlogger or if you wear glasses or anything like that. And here is cleaner fluid. And then the front is this kind of like suede material so that you can easily clean your phone, your camera, or whatever device you have. Or you can also use it to clean your glasses or your sunglasses. But yeah, it's an easy way to refresh anything that you're like trying to use to record or see out of. Then next I have my wallet. I've been carrying this one around for years. This is the YSL monogram card holder in the pebble leather. My husband got me the black and gold one. That's like one of my favorite combinations. But I've just been the type the last few years where I don't like a bulky wallet. I want my wallet to be as compact as possible. So I love this one because it's just got one pouch right here. I can put coins or cash in here whenever I have coins or cash, which I actually do right now. And then it has a bunch of slots for all my cards back here. Then next is an Amazon favorite that I absolutely love. This is actually a lint roller. I like the fact that it's like fairly compact. For this bag, it is a little bit big. This was definitely more appropriate whenever I carry my oversized bag, but it still does fit in here. And actually it goes very, very nicely with this bag. But this has a little sticky ball on the inside and it's reusable. So you don't have to worry about tearing off sheets or anything like that. Basically use this to just like go ahead and lint roll whenever you get to your destination, especially if you're a pet owner like me. I mean, animal hair gets everywhere. And and especially if you take your dog in your car a lot. I can lint roll before I leave the house, but because I'm riding in my car where my dog rides daily, I still inevitably end up with dog hair on me. So it's nice to have this in my purse so that I can lint roll right when I get to my destination. Then next I have my sunglasses. I can't find the case for them right now. These are my Lispec sunglasses. This style is called the Thirst. These are the ones that have been my go-to for the fall and the winter time. I just love like how bold and big they are. I also love the straight brow on them. I feel like it gives them a little bit of an edginess. I also love the very subtle cat eye. It's like an oversized Wayfair, but there's a little bit of a cat eye. I love these. I have really fallen in love with Lispec sunglasses. I have a couple from them and the construction on these is really amazing. So I usually keep this pair in this bag and like I said, I can't 
can't find the case right now. I know it's floating around somewhere. So right now I just have it in this black little pouch to protect it. But even when it is in its regular case, it still fits in here because the sunglass cases for Lisbeck is actually about this size. Then of course I have some hand sanitizer. This one is from Bath & Body Works. I just went to Bath & Body Works recently and I got a little bundle of hand sanitizers. This one is the Palo Santo and Sage and this scent. Oh my god, it just smells so good. It definitely is a little bit more of a masculine scent. A little bit woody, a little bit of a musk, but I personally love those types of scents. So since this is my favorite out of the sanitizers that I bought, this is the one that I keep in my purse. Then lastly, in the main section is this little Clinique pouch. My sister-in-law and her family got me a little travel Clinique set and I absolutely love it. This pouch is perfect to kind of organize the smaller things in my bag that might get lost easily. So the first thing I have in here is the Merit Shade Slick. This color has been my go-to. I love the Shade Slick. It's such a good lip oil. It's exactly what you want out of a lip oil. It's very hydrating. It makes your lips feel really good. And these ones just have like the slightest tint, just enough to give your lips a little bit of a color, but not so much that it looks like you're wearing lipstick. And the one that I have is in the shade Maple which is this like brick red color, but like I said, it's pretty sheer. Then I have another lip oil in here. I love lip oils. They just feel really good on your lips. And I just got this one. This is from e.l.f. And this one is the Glow Reviver Lip Oil. And I got it in the color Honey Talks. And it's just like a nice nude lip oil. Perfect for every day. I will say it is a tiny bit stickier than the Merit one, but not like terribly so. And I do have to say, I really love the doe foot applicator on this. I love how big it is. And it's super, super soft. So if you've been looking for like an affordable lip oil that's actually really good, not too thick, not too sticky, definitely check out this new one from e.l.f because I'm in love with it. Also in this pouch, I have a tampon. I don't think that needs an explanation. <laughs> and then also from the actual like little travel set that I got is a little travel clinic body cream. I hate it whenever my hands feel dry. So I usually like to try to carry lotion. And this one's just like the perfect size and it smells so good. The scent on this is just like so clean and fresh. And since it's a body cream, it's super, super hydrating. Then lastly, in this little pouch, I have the little travel perfumes that it came with. I have been really getting into perfumes over the last year, and whenever I leave the house without perfume, I feel naked. So I like the fact that I now have two little travel perfumes that I can keep in my bag to wear if ever I forget to put on perfume, or you know, if I forget to put on deodorant. That does happen sometimes, unfortunately. Two scents in here. The first perfume is Clinique Happy, which is the exact same scent as the body cream, so very light and fresh. And then the second scent is Clinique Happy Heart, which is very similar as well with the fresh, clean notes, but there's a little hint of sweetness in this one. So it's nice that I have both these options to choose from depending on my mood in case I forget my perfume. Then on the inside of this bag, we do have a little zipper pouch. So in this pouch, I have, oh, I have another wad of cash. I don't really look in here very often. I just like tuck things away and forget. So I guess at some point I had tucked away some cash in there. So I'm gonna put that back so I don't lose it. And then of course, dog mom life, I have a poop bag. And then looks like there's one more thing in here underneath the cash. Oh, I also have a hair tie in addition to the hair clip. Putting all that back. And then there is one more pouch on the back here. I don't think I really put much in here as well. I always forget about these like side zipper pouches on bags and oh, I, I do have something in here. Oh. <laughs> I have a gas gift card. This was one of Trevor's stocking stuffers to me. Just a $25 gas card with the receipt just in case. So I guess I left that in here just like as emergency gas money in case for any reason I need to get gas and I don't have my wallet. Though I'm thinking I don't always have this purse with me. Maybe I should actually put that in my car. So not something I guess I typically will keep in here because I will be moving that. That is everything that is in my bag. One thing that I do also keep in here that'll fit with all of this stuff is my phone, but it's on the charger right now, which is why it isn't in here. And also I'm home. So I don't keep my phone in my purse when I'm home. And honestly, when I'm out and about, I'll throw my phone into my purse, but the majority of the time I have it in my hand because I'm gonna be honest, I'm just someone who is always on their phone. But anyways, that is my review on my Coach Soft Tabby shoulder bag and also everything that I'm keeping in my bag right now for the winter time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon again in the next video. Bye.